All right, so only a couple orders in today's haul video, but I think it's interesting stuff. This huge one over here is old Lego Dacta parts I got from a Goodwill auction. And this little one here is a BrickLink package all the way from Germany uh, with some old nine volt stuff. So this, this will all be very useful for control panels or electronics projects, that kind of thing. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, well my tripod is not <laughs> near tall enough to see what's going on here. Let me see uh, how this is packed. Okay, yeah, I can just take it out like this. Like that. Like I said, I'd rather have something that's over packed than under. Oh, good Lord. Bubble wrap for days. Must have been their first day. Like they're they're gonna be pulled to a side and be like, "Whoa, man, less less bubble wrap. <laughs> this stuff costs money." Okay, so that's not in super great condition, um, but I'm not even sure what this goes to. Um, this is gonna be for a Dacta set. Um, it's got a lot of these, um, wow, that's warped, way warped, but I, I have probably some extras of these somewhere, um, but it came with a, maybe it was, maybe the turtle set, um, where the 4.5 volt motors probably here, gears and wheels went here, um, apparently these slot in there or something, no, that doesn't make sense. Um, got some of the light gray pieces that go with these. These are rough looking. <laughs> these had a hard life. I wonder if this was in a school just like by the window. Um, and that's why this is all warped. <laughs> uh, that's yellowed where... So the pieces would have went like that. And then you'd have your arrows here. So that's why it's discolored in that pattern. Uh, and then, yeah, you have these across the top and these can be stacked together. So um, the reason I got this was just a couple more of these. I'm, I'm interested to see what this is. If this is a set I can complete. Um, like I said, I was hoping this would be a little bit better condition, but it's not even that bad. It just needs to be cleaned. Um, it's, it could definitely be worse. Um, and you know, got a bunch of these tile pieces with the arrows. And that's a encoder wheel, uh, basically, that was used with the light sensors from the 4.5 volt era. So when you see these, a lot of people will think 12 volt trains because that's the what they looked like, except they had different patterns on them. But when I see these, I think of the 4.5 volt era of <laughs> Dacta sets. And I have come prepared. So we've got a 9 volt regulator here. Got a switch track and a couple of custom cables. So this is a 4.5 volt to power function. Um, 4.5 volt to 9 volt. And then a 4.5 volt cable that has the wide connector on it. So the wide connector goes in this. That's power input. And again, it goes through these all the way down like that. So I will be able to test these. So if I hook up this, your outputs on the back here. So that's the one I brought with me down here. Oh shoot. That sucks that it's yellowed, but it does work. This one's, uh, there's some plastic pieces in here that can get stuck that were to, oh, it's a little worn out, uh, but that there's a piece in there that keep, makes sure you don't press them both at once. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad this work. Uh, let me get all this <laughs> set to the side. 
and I don't expect much uh, um, interesting things here. Um, maybe I didn't have these with the Dr. Branding. I might have had education later versions of these. Um, I think I have plenty of those. I might have needed this. I think this is levers. This is, yeah, there's a bunch here. A lot more than I thought. I love these. I, you know, like it would show how everything was supposed to be organized in here. So this is a, looks like a nearly complete 4.5 volt, or not 4.5. <laughs> this is the simple machine, something like that. It does have a red um, two by six weight brick, uh, which is, can be useful. Um, but yeah, just some old pieces. That looks nearly complete though. Uh, that's, that's cool. Um, and yeah, so yeah, this is um, what I mean. This is a 4.5 volt battery box and these are the, the switches here. So I actually have this in a much better condition. So maybe this came as a set that included the pieces to, to build the, that's the, the turtle. <laughs> uh, just a simple little rover. Um, and you could make these cards and uh, drive it around. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Um, oh, a, a teacher's guide. Check it out. I love this stuff. This is this is great. <laughs> teacher's guide for gears this is stuff i think i have these in um some bricklink parts like I'm, I'm always on the lookout for the teacher's guides and things looks like they wrote in a little bit here but uh it is what it is uh yeah and then the covers for me even these look a little discolored but um, yeah, so just some random Dacta stuff and mostly for those uh, little switches I got. Uh, this this was a fairly cheap lot, but again, getting these teacher's guides and not having to pay shipping from a couple different sellers, that's gonna save me some money. All right, so this is the BrickLink order from Germany. Um, if you want old Lego nine volt stuff, Germany is the place to go to. It is in abundance, um, even the, the nine volt trains too. Um, a lot of my stuff comes from over there, so looks like it was packed well. Um, okay, so this is all the parts here. Um, oh yeah, so they had a ton of um, the axles in different colors. This I don't believe is a, a production part. I can't find this in any set. But it's the gear rack in blue. Uh, so I picked up some of those. That could be cool in GBC or something. Um, I got a lot of the axles in uh, yellow and red just because um, they're a little less common. They're be being used more in sets lately. Um, picked up a bunch of those. These are just random pieces that are useful for like GBC. Um, oh, these are the handle pieces. Um, they were only in a few sets. They're normally black and yellow, um, but I found these in blue, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, one by two tiles in blue because <laughs> I ran out of those. Um, and the main thing I ordered was nine volt pull reverser switches. And how on earth did they get so many? Of they have like hundreds listed. Um, I don't even remember what I bought. I think it's 20. Um, but you know these are super useful for my projects these look to be in pretty good condition because they can get dirty inside of here or just loose or um, sometimes they just don't work that great um, oh and i did pick up a touch sensor from the cybermaster set um, these have a resistor inside so you can put m multiples of these on a single input and be able to tell which one is pressed by the resistance uh, that that you get so again uh, that's the handle piece that you would use to turn it or you can have an axle through the side here and let's just do a quick demo so 
in my last video, I got a bunch of these 4.5 volt touch sensors. Um, um, I'll, I'll take it out afterwards because it's very delicate how it's positioned in there. <laughs> um, so let's take this and hook it to our motor. And this will go to our switch. And let's get some 9 volts going. Okay, so let's do that and that. So what I can do, because if you just use the pole reverser or the power function switch, it just shorts. And um, these cheap motors don't have protection on them. Um, it's kind of a problem because you don't want it to just sit there humming, you know, just burning electricity. So what I've designed is using the 4.5 volt sensor as a momentary switch. So, okay, it's already switched that way, just like that. So I've been coming up with a lot of different designs for buttons. And again, it's all based on, come out of there, the 4.5 volt touch sensor. And I'm just using it um, in series, just like that. So it just power goes in and then it's allowed to go out when it's pressed. So I'm very happy with this order. I mean, I just got a ton of these. These are so hard to find. You'll find one or two at a time for sale in the US. Um, even in Germany, I had bought nine a while back from a seller and that was all they had. This seller, I have no idea where they're getting them from, how they have so many of them. <laughs> and uh, and they were a good price. So I, I think I spent about $100 for this order, um, which is perfectly fair. I'm sure there's people that sell these for $10, $15 each. Um, but to get them in bulk at a good price is a good thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know how many people really follow me directly for the electronics aspect of things, but that's what's always been interesting to me since I was a little kid. So I will continue to upload stuff like this, uh, whether it gets a lot of views or not. <laughs> so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.